I'm Luke Beard. I'm Chris Green. I'm Riley Gunsmer. And I'm Nash Lanny. And we are the backups. Backups. You're missing Nash again this week. Or not again. It was you last week missing Nash now. It always seems like we're just one down every week. Yeah. It's like a like hockey and we have a guy in the box. But <laughs> let's kick right into the NFL playoffs. Uh, Ravens defeating the Texans 34-10. Not exactly what I expected. I thought uh, the Texans would keep this game a lot closer than they did. Uh, but just a great season by the Texans. Completely just exceed expectations. D'Amico Ryan's with one of the better first years you'll ever see from an NFL head coach, yeah. especially the way he turned this team around. This is a really bad team last season. And, I mean, CJ Stroud played phenomenally all season. He's the real deal. He's going to be an yeah. uh, MVP contender for a long time, I think. And Will Anderson did what everyone expected him to do, and then some. I think he'll be a guy who will win some de- uh, defense players of the year. Right. I mean, this Texans team, it looks like they're back. Yeah, and they're back in motion. Can't, I also got to remember the receiving court, Tank Dale and Nico Collins yep. and Dalton Schultz. It's a super young team. Yeah. I mean, really good team. And they, they, they kept it close in the first half. It's just Ravens had a, a slow start, and they, they got it together. And, you know, even when the Texans tried to switch up the game plan, like to try and get quick passes off, the Ravens shut that down. They shut the run down. It was, just, it was a great defensive performance from the Ravens. This is a super strong Ravens team, too. Yeah. I mean, all sides of the ball are really strong this yeah. season. They finally got some receivers. Uh, they're, they're putting talent around Lamar now. Yeah. And, you know, they, they haven't had Mark Andrews for a little bit. But now Isaiah Likely's going to hurt. Yeah. But, yeah, Isaiah yeah. Likely still. I mean, there's a reason he got picked so early yeah. in the draft. And this is just a really good Ravens team. I don't really see them. I don't know where I see them ending, honestly, because yeah. I think them and the Chiefs are similar. Yeah, they, 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 they get hot at the right time, and they're both super talented yeah. teams. I think the Ravens have more talent, but I think the Chiefs have maybe the better talent. I think having Mahomes, who's been in that situation before, right. and having Kelsey, who's you know been in that situation. Like, all these guys have been there before. Yeah. With the Ravens, it's, it's new to them, but I, I think at some point talent could outweigh yeah, experience. Yeah. yeah, and even though it's new to them, they still got, they still got some preseason vets on, on that yeah. team, where it's just like, they, they, know, they know what to do. Mm-hmm. And they know what their expectations yeah. are, and I wouldn't be shocked if they missed it. Like, this game, this game coming up this, this Sunday, you, like, you wouldn't want it any other way. No. Nah. You, you want to be the upcoming dynasty mm-hmm. in the Chiefs. Yeah. And you want to prove the doubt is wrong. If you you want to kill that momentum yeah. that they have yeah. going from, you know, last year's Super Bowl right. to another Super Bowl. You don't want them to keep like to get like, that. It's just you being the final boss of the AFC pretty much. Yep. Like, and, you know, the MVP would completely change that narrative about Lamar. Yeah. A lot of teams didn't want him this season. Nobody would pick him up. Unsure why. Like, we were all and you know it's crazy. part of that crowd that wanted people yeah. to pick him up. But yeah. And you know it's crazy. Even, even if he went in a Super Bowl in the MVP, he he's still, still, he still going to find a way. Oh, he didn't do this. He had a yeah. team around him. They're not going to respect yeah. him. But yeah. Lamar has shown that he's yeah. one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. Top and you can't, you can't the NFL, argue man. Uh, The 49ers. Basin, or they defeated the Packers 24-21. Yeah. Packers lost this game. Yeah. I mean, it. there's always an argument, you know, the team didn't win, we lost. That's what happened. Yeah. You can't miss a field a goal. A field goal. And, and even, even I'm not going to put all the blame on the kicker. Like, he missed that field goal. Yeah, that was, that was crucial. But we still had two other drives before that that we could have put the game away. Yeah. It, it just... A, it, a tipped interception that that sucked. And then after that, we had a third and two, and Jordan Love overthrew the ball to Aaron Jones. So it was it was it was not a great. There's some key situations you have to capitalize on. The Packers struggled at doing that. Yeah. Uh, this 49ers, this is still a good team. It's still a good I mean, team. It's, exactly. This is a great 49ers and team. I, There's a lot of questions about Brock Purdy. Uh, Brock Purdy. But he got now. it done when he needed it to. Yep. He, he got, got it, it done. So. It's still. It's still the question: Is is he the guy? Yeah, I I'm still not positive if he's the I'm guy. Positive, I think he. I, th- I, th- I think he. I think he's a, he is a guy who yeah. can win you games, and I think that's yeah. all they need right now. Yeah. Especially someone who's not taking much salary cap right now. Right. You don't want your salary cap being wasted on a quarterback when you have you all the know, talent you, around. You don't know if you're going to be an All Pro in, yeah. in the next. I know there's a big question mark, especially this night, the NFC Championship. If Debo plays or not, I'm not entirely sure if he does. I but play. I think Brock Purdy might have thrown, might have played worse when he Debo wasn't in the game. I mean, when me and you were watching, he was some of his passes he missing some not passes, look but yeah. like the ones he should yeah. have been making. When you're missing a, a superstar who's getting a lot of these other guys wide open, yeah. it's, it's hard to to 
I guess, formulate to a new game plan immediately. Because it's it's all pros, pro bowlers, all stars, just right all around. Oh, right, yeah. You know, you have an offensive line. You have the best offensive line in the league. You have one of the best tight ends in the league. You have the best running back in the league. You have one of the best receivers. Uh, probably the best receiving uh, core. core yeah. I mean, Ayuk is probably the best wide receiver, too. He could be a wide receiver, one, for about 15 games right yeah, now. Yeah, I agree. So it, it takes you a second to to move when you lose one of those guys. But I still think he has to be able to do that because if you can't, you're not going to win games. Right. So you have to learn to ad- adjust. Yeah. And that's something Brock Purdy, is, he's young, so he still has time to learn. Yeah. But he has to start running quicker, especially in the position he's in right now. You're in the playoffs. This guy who has lost one playoff game. Yeah. Definitely. And it was to a good Eagles team. And, and he didn't even play. No. So. Yeah. I mean, he really, yeah, you're right. He hasn't lost a playoff game. Yeah. I completely forgot about that. Because I think this team realistically probably could have won last year. I, th- I thought I th- and they could win, too. Josh Johnson came in, and, you know, you don't expect him. Yeah, he was playing. He was, he was, he was four strength. Yeah, he was on the on the sideline playing yeah. Candy Crush, and they, they yeah. tapped his shoulder. Yeah. They're like, yo, you're in. Yeah. He's like, oh no. Oh yeah. But he was a four string last year. Yeah. He was not expecting to get. Yeah, he wasn't expecting to get. He was on a practice squad. Like. Then they had what they had. Christian McCaffrey as a uh, eligible quarterback. Yeah, he was their emergency guy because they didn't have another guy they could put on the roster. Like that's yeah, absurd. That's wow. And then the Lions defeat the Buccaneers, 31-23. It's a good Lions team, man. Yeah, yeah. This this team is scary in the position they're in right now. I, if I'm the Niners, I'd be a little bit worried. Yeah, especially Debo not, uh-huh. not playing. That, that that's a little worries. MCDC has this team yeah. rolling. Yeah. And this team you don't want to get rolling. And I think they just signed Zach Ertz. Yeah. They not? Yeah. We yeah. Had for practice squad. Yeah. Zach Ertz decided he was going to sign to a team on. NFC Championship. We I never seen that before. By the way, I never seen a player do that. Generational ring yeah. chasing. Ring right chasing there. I saw someone finest. say that. Yeah, I never seen that before. <laughs> uh, he he's a guy who can make a difference. Though. Yeah, yeah. He's a, he's a better in the locker room. He's a good tight end. Yeah, that's uh, probably what I got just from like vet. Yeah. Practice. Great backup for Laporta. Yeah. A guy who's won the Super Bowl before. You yeah. want to go for another one? This is the team you go to. Right. Uh, a young team that you can help mentor and maybe get there. Yeah. And I think Dan Campbell is really hungry right now. And I'd be scared. I'd, I'd be scared. To see a hungry Dan Campbell, he's gonna bite your kneecaps off. Yeah, that's what he said. I'd, I'd be worried if I was uh, if I were the 49ers. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be a good game. I, I don't. I personally think the 49ers are gonna come out with the win, but yeah. I, I really, it, it should be a good game. I think not being in Detroit is gonna hurt a little bit. Yeah, I don't know if it'll hurt enough though. Yeah, no. it's still gonna be a close game. I will say, after watching that game, I am impressed with Baker Mayfield. I personally didn't think he would be able to get this team to the playoffs. I, I was a Baker Mayfield doubter. I personally never liked him in college, but yeah. I mean, I'm glad to see him. Since He's legit. Yeah. Baker Mayfield's a legit quarterback, and I, I'm glad people are finally seeing it. And like, I know, I know the stat line said he had two interceptions, but, but one of them was off a drop pass from yeah. Mike Evans. Like, yeah. Mike Evans was early in the game; he was not catching the ball. No. It was. And then, I don't know why they went for that silly two point. Yeah, yeah, they should have took that the was, field goal. I'm like, you. you and then they, they could have called a timeout and. I think I think that was a, back, I think that was an error on the uh, scoreboard. It might have been, but I think that's what it was. I don't know. I don't know what their plan was. Yeah, I don't know. But they was. did not execute and it. And that second interception was just bad because the tight end yeah. was behind, behind. Behind. Yeah. That's something I throw in Madden when I'm, <laughs> when I'm just trying stuff at at that point. Yeah, it was it ended up being rough for the Buccaneers, but they they played a good game. This yeah, is still yeah, a good they team. A good this game. is a good Buccaneers team. They'll probably run the NFC South for a little bit. Yeah. Until, you know, like the Falcons can get a coach and a quarterback or. The Panthers complete their rebuild. I think the Saints are still a little dangerous, but it just depends. Yeah, yeah. It depends if they're. I don't know what the Saints can do to like. It just depends if they want to win. I don't, I mean, I don't know what they want to do. Can't tell if they're in a rebuild if they're. I don't. Yeah, that's what. I don't they're ready to they go do. for it. So I think that'll, that'll, see. I think NFC South will be up in the air for a little bit. Yeah. But I think the Buccaneers will be taken at home at least three or four times in the next ten years. Yeah. Then the Chiefs beat the Bills 27-24. Wasn't completely shocked by this. I, I, I mean, it was it was a, a 50-50 game. Yeah, me, like, Mahomes doesn't lose in the playoffs. Yeah, very rarely. Yeah, have like, we it seen was, that? It was it was a, a 50-50. I was like, okay, I can see the Bills winning, but if the Chiefs win, I wouldn't be surprised. And just the last few minutes, that was peak CTE football. Right yeah. there. Like, who goes for a, a fake field goal, a fake punt? I mean, a fake punt 
with yeah. DeMar Hamlin. Yeah, the fake punt to DeMar Hamlin is not a great like, did they, idea. Did they think they was just, oh, no, it's DeMar Hamlin. He's he coming back for something, something uh, significant. We're not going to tackle him. Yeah. Like, did, was that the thought process? I'm not sure what their plan was there, but he was not going to get that first down, especially in your own half of the field. Yeah. What are you doing there? And then, and then, then missed field goal. That, and then, then the, the fumble the fumble on, on the Chiefs, I, I, like, you supposed to be. Yeah. yeah. Nicole Hartman was not supposed to no. do that. There was, there was a lot. That was... Stephon Diggs dropped a, a 60-yard bomb. Yeah. He could have caught. And I, it, it wasn't all on Stephon Diggs. No. And on that 39, that was a, it, it was, I see what Josh Allen was seeing there, but Diggs was right down open on the draft. Yeah. He could have hit him and got a first down. I saw that uh, Stephon Diggs has been uh, standing on that field for the past four years now. Yeah. I, I just want to know what the Bills are planning on doing. I, I think Stephon Diggs might request a trade. I, I wouldn't be shocked. I, 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 they can't beat the Chiefs. Yeah, they can't and they can't beat the, beat the Bengals. And I just I think that's a bad position for them to be in. Like they got themselves a franchise quarterback. It just they they're always they're Super Bowl contender every year, and then they just miss something. It's just they something they missing. Like I'm not sure what it is. Like, they're like the 76ers of the, like the, the NFL. Like they got a two bit. star players, and then they just can't get past that one team. Yeah, and I was getting bounced out in the second round. Yeah. You know, speaking of 76ers, let's move into the NBA. Uh, Joel Embiid, 70-point uh, game against Victor Wimbanyama, who had a good game himself. Yeah, he had a good game himself, just but 70 more than 30. Yeah, it's, it's, hard, to, it's hard to stop Embiid. Yeah. And I saw someone say Joel Embiid's just the Dak Prescott of the NBA. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I like, I like the 70-point the game. I'm just begging, please do this in the playoffs. Please. I was looking at something, and Embiid's uh, stats against uh, – Teams that are below 500, yeah, he, yeah. they're like 40 plus points a game, and then teams that are above 500, it's 24 points. That's a why game. when he playing a team uh, under 500, that's why I take the over. So once he once he hits like once he faces like Boston in the playoffs, yeah. or you face, I mean, the Bucks, maybe. the Bucks, yeah, the Heat will they'll somehow end up being really good again back at the end of the season, and yeah, they'll they all, they they do all they'll make noise in the they save all their energy yeah. during the regular season, yeah. playoff time. They just, they're going to make noise in the playoffs. They they're not worried about regular season. They're not playing for regular they just, season they just, trophies. Yeah. They like what Trey Young said in a uh, couple years ago. I, I just I can't get motivated for regular season. No. Yeah. They'll they'll make noise in the playoffs. Yeah. I just think the uh, 76ers, they have to figure something out. Yeah. As soon as it's playoff time. And we're not quite in that stretch yet. Got to wait till after All-Star break. We have to wait till you know, February. Yeah. Right after that, you got to start locking in. Yeah, you got to start locking and in. And that's something the Sixers really, seem to really struggle this, with. This, yeah, really this weekend, they got to start. Yeah. So coming up this weekend, it's yeah. time to start locking in. Yeah, this weekend starts getting big. Yeah. And yeah, as soon as got, football ends, the hey, eyes are all on you. Yeah, and look, he got a big matchup this weekend, sa- Saturday uh, afternoon against Jokic. So, yeah. yeah. He he did well against Jokic yeah. last game. And, uh, but Jokic isn't known for his defense. Yeah. I mean, let's be real. He's, he's an offensive mastermind. He's one of the best offensive players we've ever seen. Right. He passes it. He rebounds. He shoots. He does everything. Defense, it's like he's there. But he can yeah, play defense. He can play defense, but it's not like it's not his highest. Yeah. Not even like priority. Yeah, it's not, it's all, not, his it's not all NBA defense. No. Yeah, type, yeah. No, but he's still he's a good yeah, defender. He's a good defender. He will do what he has to do, and. You know, if Embiid gives him 40, he gives him 40, because he'll give yeah. Embiid 40 right back. Yeah, he'll give, give him 40. So I'm, I'm excited to see that matchup, though. I think right. that'll be fun. That'll be the two good teams. Yeah. And I think that's going to help kind of see where these teams might be going yeah. when it comes to playoffs. Yeah, I, I look forward to watching it. Because I, I thought the Nuggets are going to be, you know, the best team in the West. And I did, too. Then Simmons just came yeah, out. Haven't well. yet, well, yeah, haven't been yet. Well, OKC, too. Yeah, OKC is. Yeah. I didn't that think they was scary. I knew they would be good. I knew they would be a, a, at least a top five seed, but I didn't think they would be fine for first place in the, in the No, West. I'm, I'm getting shades of that 2012 team. Yeah. Those, those early I just, teams. I just, somebody, I saw some the other day, someone was like, is it a such thing like drafting too good? Like, <laughs> like <laughs> and they still have so many picks. Yeah, yeah, that's they the thing. They have so like, much. Like, like they, they, they're nowhere near done getting guys. Yeah, like they were saying, dude was saying like, uh, like if they draft too good, like, all of them probably won't be able to like reach their full potential. As yeah. Somebody might have to get traded. Which is what happened with the old Yeah, yeah. I hope I hope that don't, it's not a repeat yeah. of history or anything. But like, yeah. I think I think Chet is hitting what we thought he would be doing yeah, at yeah. this point in his career. Uh, Shea is one of the best players in the MVP, NBA. He's top ten by far. Yeah. And by MVP far, he's combo. probably top five in the MVP yeah. uh, conversation right now. Yeah. Uh, both Jalen Williams and J Dub, they're both playing amazing. Uh, Lou Dort. Yeah, still Lou playing Dort. really well. He's a great defender. He doesn't mean he's. And when he get, and if you need him, he's a three and D guy. Yeah. 
Yeah. He's a three and D guy. He does well with that. Three and D guys gonna always get you get yep. you a ring. Even like guys like Pokashevsky, who doesn't really play, but he his minutes can still yeah. be impactful. If, if he plays, he can do some damage. Yeah. Like he's yeah. a guy. He's he's still young ish, and he's you know he's a big, but he plays like a guard, and he's a guy that they can fit in the lineup if they have to, and he'll yep. still do some damage for you. So I think I think they're just a really well constructed team. Yeah. Okay. See, the coaching is good. The new GMs and everything they keep right. Yeah. As soon as they brought in new guys, everything has gone well for them since then. Yeah, and that's been huge. That's what a good front office can do for you. Yeah, you have to have front office. And that yeah. this yeah, is like you can't let the players let run the front office. Nah. No, no, shade, this is no shade, shade to certain that. no shade to certain teams in the league that that do that. But yeah, yeah, you can't let the players run the front office. Yeah, no, this is a team that's like there's just so much going on there. That's yeah. so good. It's it's I'm shocked. Yeah, I don't even know what to say. I'm lost for words right now because this is such a fun team to watch. I really like this team. So let's move to Carl Anthony Towns scoring 62 in a loss to the yeah. Hornets. Fourth quarter. Yeah, Chris he, Finch wasn't too happy about that. No, he was not. But in the fourth quarter, it seemed like they they kind of lost the goal of winning, yeah. and they wanted to see how yeah, many points they could get. I don't I don't know how true this is, but supposedly they found out that what Embiid was doing it in, in his game, and they were like, you know, we got to keep feeding they the ball. Yeah, yeah, they wanted to beat that. Yeah. And eventually, it just wasn't working. Just the Hornets yeah. came back and they shot. Yeah. Them. I mean, Leaky Black came in. Yeah. I mean, college basketball legend, not legend, but great college basketball player for UNC. Yeah. And Leaky Black came in and he he played well. He, he got that final seal against Cat. He had his free throws. He did everything he had to do. So that was impressive. I'm trying to think who else impressed on that team. I mean, Lamella. Yeah, Lamella. Always course, impresses. Always. Whenever, he, whenever he's in. Uh, Miles Burgess had a good game. He played fine. Yeah. Brandon Miller had a really good game. Yeah. He's, he's, a, he's a young I'm, I'm glad he's doing good because yeah. a lot of people had doubts about him. Yeah, he's a young star, but I, I don't know what the Timberwolves are thinking. Yeah, I don't you know. you've got to win the. You have to beat the Hornets. Yeah, like scoring scoring points is cool, but you got to you got to win the game. So yeah, it's not it's it's a team sport, not not a one player sport. That was the case. It'd be one on one every week, mm-hmm. yeah. especially against Tim Charlotte. Yeah, like who they're in a rebuild. They're not great, and everyone knows this. And that's a team when you're the best team in the West, you can't lose. Like stuff like that make me worry about them in the playoffs. Like, yeah, are they going? Yeah, are they legit? Yeah, and I I don't think they. I don't, yeah, I don't yeah. think it's all going to trade. I think they will be. I don't think they are yet. Just, they're just not there yet. Yeah. Uh, the Bucks firing Adrian Griffin. I saw that today. I was shocked. Yeah, I was like, hey. but I, I, I saw why they, he's had some issues with yeah. the team. They, yeah, they were saying Dame not couldn't really get used to the, no. to the scheme. Yeah, they don't like the schemes he's running. I mean, 30 and 13, though, it seems like they're getting yeah. used to something. Yeah, I haven't seen something like that since the Cavs did that when they yeah. get hired, uh, fired the old coach. Yeah. And was it right before they hired Ty Lue? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like during the all during the All Star break, I think they did. Like, yeah. yeah, something like that. Yeah, they 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 hired Ty Lue right after and yeah. ended up working. But I don't know. I just don't know how that happened. Yeah. I thought he was doing well. I thought he was doing good, but I I did like from what I when I was watching their games, I did notice like their offense didn't look the same as like from the previous years. That's true. And then they got worse defensively, so I, yeah. I mean, I don't know what I don't know what they're gonna do. Yeah, I don't. It's, I heard I heard, I, I heard Doc Rivers. I saw Doc uh, Rivers was their their candidate, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if he's gonna, <laughs> that's gonna not, leave TV. That, that's not an upgrade. Uh, no. To be honest with you, that's not an upgrade. Hey man, he's a champion. He is. He's a champion. He's a champion, but hey man. That, saw that team. You see why? Yeah. He's yeah. Champion, but he is a champion. He's uh, one more with that team to be honest with you. <laughs> Terry Rozier was traded to the Heat for Kyle Lowry in a 2027 first rounder. I like this deal for both teams. Yeah. Uh, the Hornets are still trying to build. They, yeah, yeah. They're trying to build a young team. Kyle Lowry's a good veteran leader. Yeah. He, uh, he hasn't really been doing much for Miami recently. But he'll be a good locker room person. Yeah. For, they need, because that Hornets they need team. Locker the Hornets, yeah, they need a vet. And they need a facilitator, and that's what Lowry yeah. is. At this point, he's pretty yeah. facilitator. And then Terry Rozier will, he'll go into the heat. He'll give you 20 if you need it. Yeah. He can pass. He saw the rebounder for a guard. He's he's a good player, and I yeah, am I excited to see what he can do in Miami. Uh, let's move to the Premier League. Riley, I know you want to talk about how well Brighton played this weekend. Just disappointment every week almost at this point. And disappointment's actually an understatement. I mean, both teams played good. It was a good performance from both sides. But Brighton's in a tough position where it's these, I would say, from five down to ten on the table. It's going to be a close race to get into that spot for a European tournament. And if something doesn't change fast, I think Brighton will miss out. You're saying it's over? I wouldn't say it's Brighton over yet, but 
It's it's getting close. It's not to bright that. over yet. No, it's not bright it over. Seems like yet. you think it's over. It's close. It's close. It's, it's right there. It's a thin yeah. line. Thin line. Very thin. So it's over. When you when, you, when you're, you're saying it's close to being over, it's over. Come on, now y'all gotta win. Europa is finished strong. We, we made a good sign. We made probably the best signing in the transfer window so far. Yeah, yeah. Who would that be? Nineteen-year-old Valentin Barco from oh. Boca Ooh. Juniors. Oh, yeah. a lot of guys are coming out of Boca Juniors. Did he be the next? That's yeah, he gonna get transferred to Chelsea, man. <laughs> we all know how it's going. World class. Yeah. You gotta go to the world class teams yeah. and how do you Wolves, man? I gotta understand Wolves. Are, uh, they on the come up. Yeah. yeah. They on the come up, but still, it's but, Wolves, man. Yeah. It's gonna be up to win. We got three cat. We got three eighteen-year-olds on the field. I. They're good. We, they're gonna be look, wrong. Liverpool are missing Trent and Mo Salah right now, and we still figuring out how to win games, man. Okay. Yeah, but it's, it's it's Liverpool. Let's. But it, but we, we beat Arsenal without. Yeah, 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 but it was boring. It'll be tired. No, I'm talking about... In, oh, okay. yeah. yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Speaking of Arsenal, we are so back. Defeating Crystal Palace 5-0. I didn't watch it. I think I was asleep. I didn't, I didn't know that game was on time. I, I didn't either. I think we found out later in the day. I was like, oh, we won 5-0. Yeah. But we're back. I love soccer again. Premier League football is my favorite. Arsenal is the best team in the world. World class club. Uh, we're honestly the next Manchester City. They were, my bad. Next Real Madrid, I think. Uh, you know, Man City don't have anything on us. Yeah, no. I don't know if you want to be Man City right now. No, no, no. no. I meant to say Real We're the next Real Madrid, is what I'm saying. Right, right, right. Speaking of a future Spanish club, the next AC Milan, Liverpool. I mean, the, the team that we came back 3 0 down in, in the. Uh, I guess. In the Champions League in 2005, yeah, yeah. great yeah, comeback. 2005. Yeah, 2005, okay, yeah. buddy. Yeah, like you were watching that game. I, I wasn't. I was, I was like two years old. Of course I wasn't watching that. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, you're on your feet for that yeah, one. Yeah. <laughs> Diego and, and, and Darwin Nunez, Nunez had great games this, this weekend. He's so, a dog, yeah. man. Yeah. Darwin yeah. Nunez is so good. First Premier League player. And, and jo- Jota, man. I hate oh. Liverpool. <laughs> We just, we you just make me so mad. Glad to see Darwin's making goals instead of hitting yeah. the goal. Yeah, post, yeah. You know? yeah hey, my, hey. Thing, my thing is, I, I love Darwin, but he be missing some of the easiest goals ever. I just be like, what are you doing, man? It's bad <laughs> when you have an own like compilation. Darwin Nunez missing. Yeah, it, it just, it just, wow. It, he, it's like, it's like Brandon Knight when he's, when he missing. Yeah. Let's move to overtime. <laughs> Chris, take it away. Roy Rumble this weekend. Uh, I, I want to ask y'all who y'all got winning the whole thing. Both of them? Yeah. Uh, I'll let you go first. I think. We go with Cody Rhodes again. For, is he in the Royal Rumble? Yeah. yeah. I'm just like Cody Rhodes. He's probably my favorite wrestler. And then I am not even remotely close to sure who's in the female. Well, All the women on the roster, pretty much. At least the man. My thing is, I, I, with the women, I, don't, I really don't know who. Because I feel like they want to do something like Barry Ripley and, and Bianca, something like that. I think they could do that. I'm just building the story, though. Yeah. I think they're going to do Rhea and Becky. I can see that, too. I, I, I just saw that. They're already building yeah. it now. Yeah, so. I think they were going to do Bianca and Charlotte, but since Charlotte's hurt, they can't. Yeah. So they're going to have to do maybe next year. They'll do something with Bianca for the title. I just feel, I'm just i just saying I feel like they might do Bianca and Rhea Ripley because they on, they're both on the cover. I just don't know if I'll see Bianca yeah. in the – I don't know if she'll be in the title match. Yeah, yeah. And, it, and it was also something that they built up last year, at the, not after WrestleMania, so I was like, yeah, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what. Does it at least for the men's Royal Rumble, does Seth Rollins' injury affect no. the winner of it at all? No, I don't think so. He, so whoever still, whoever wins, yeah, I was I was finna say. Well, they can still face Seth. Yeah, he'll he'll be back. Yeah, I was gonna say he on pace to return yeah. before WrestleMania. So. Yeah, he should be back because it's it's only meniscus and a uh, MCL, which is nowhere near as bad as it could have been. Yeah, it was ACL. He'll be not six yeah, months. Yeah, ACL. It's about three to twelve weeks, so he'll be back right in time for. Yeah. Mania season. I'm, I'm going to take, I want to say Cody, but after I saw the Rocks interview today. Yeah, it looking like they might do. I don't think, I, I'm, I'm going to take Punk. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And we'll Punk. see, we'll see Punk and, uh, and Seth at Mania. Yeah. Which I mean, I think they are. That's what I want to anyway. Yeah. Women's, I'm going to take Bailey because I think, I think sooner rather than later, they're going to do the damage control turn. Yeah. And Bailey's going to take on Aya. For the title at Manny, oh, I think right I think Bailey will get her moment. I think that'd be cool because I yeah. I just I feel like Becky and Rhea is the way they're going with that one. Yeah. 
And Becky doesn't need to win the Rumble for that. Nah. I think she can. They can just. They can, they can build her up for they that. They can just announce that match right now. And they could do the same thing yeah. for Bailey, but I think it's more interesting if she's if the winner she of the Rumble, Rumble and she waits yeah. a little bit to make that pick, and it causes some tension, and they blow up, and then she picks Io. I just think that makes more sense. I agree. Yeah. So I, I think I'll go. I'll go Bailey and Punk. Yeah. What are you thinking? I'm thinking CM Punk for the and yeah, part of Bailey. Yeah. Okay. I think it'll be interesting. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited. This is all the, I, all the matches I'm excited. This for. one year, I, I have no clue what they're going to do. Yeah. Because last year, I I knew it was going to be Cody and Rhea. I feel like. Yeah, yeah. I feel like every year's been sort of predictable. This year, I have no clue what the plan is. Yeah. They've been really good at keeping everything under wraps with the with the Triple H regime. Yeah. So I'm excited. And speaking of WWE, I'm going to talk about their new Netflix deal. So they're bringing Raw to Netflix. I can't remember how many years it is now, but it's five. It's like ten. I think it is 10. Yeah, yeah 10 I think years, you're right. Yeah. Uh, 10 years, $5 billion for Raw in America. And then I think pretty much everywhere else internationally, maybe except for Canada, mm-hmm. it's going to be like Raw, SmackDown, NXT, uh, PLEs. Everything's going to be on there, apparently. Mm-hmm. I'm excited. Yeah. yeah. And I, I've heard SmackDown is signing with USA starting in October. It'll mm-hmm. be at USA. And then uh, this will start next year. Next year. 2025. Yeah. Cool. So I, I'm excited. Yeah. I, a lot of money to make the product better. I don't love Netflix right now. Yeah, just it gives me a reason to use Netflix. Just because I, I can't need, I particularly it use it since I'm not in my at home. I can't sign into it right now. Yeah, I, I hate that. Once I figure that out, yeah. we'll be good. But I, I think I just have to go home every month, put my Xbox in, yeah. be like, all right, I'm here, and then bring it back. Yeah. It's fine. I can do that for Raw. Right. But I mean, I, I think that's huge. This is going to, I think this completely changes the way we'll be able to watch sports. Yeah. I think this opens up a completely new path where sports that are typically on cable television mm-hmm. will, if this goes well, I think they all move. I think I think this could be the death of cable TV. Yeah. I think this could be, and I hope it's not. Cause I'm a fan of cable TV. Yeah, I know people. A lot of people like not a fan of like moving sports to streaming nah. sites, services, and everything. But it's it's convenient. Though. But if this yeah. goes well, I think yeah. I I really don't see a world where. Everyone's like, well, they just did it for five billion dollars. How much money would the NFL make? That they can make like a like hundred billion. Yeah. How much money would the NBA make? Like all these yeah. sports would make so much money going to streaming. Like put the NBA on Peacock. They're already like, yeah. I think they're already doing some stuff. I, on there yeah, anyway. they, 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 I was gonna say they already got the NBA on like HBO. What, yeah. Like if yeah. put if they get put on mass, it's gonna be like a massive deal. Yeah. Why would you not take that? Yeah. Why would you not? I, I'm I'm a little worried about the decline of cable TV. I don't want it to happen, but I think this could be a jump start yeah. for it happening. I'm, I'm interested to see where it goes. Yeah. I'm really interested. I think it's already kind of just started that people aren't even using cable anymore. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's definitely been, been slowed would you, would you consider YouTube TV cable? No. 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 I, I feel like that's, that's probably cable. the most popular yeah. option, and it's pretty much the same. The only reason I use cable TV is sports. Yeah. I mean, that's it. But I, I don't really... Like, there's nothing on, on regular cable TV that just... I'm going to really I think the biggest thing with the streaming service, at least I remember this past season, Maybe the mass especially in the, the Charleston area, certain ACC network games weren't being shown yeah. on YouTube TV. Yeah. So I'm curious if like, everything moves to streaming services, how much that will affect, like if all game, like, games in your area will be blacked out or not. Yeah, at this point, streaming is already costing you know, as much as cable yeah. with all the services you have to get yeah. to watch stuff. That It's like, if this happens, there's no point in having cable. You can save... Hundred twenty dollars a month, if not more, and just keep your streaming services. That's, I mean, that's good money to save. Yeah. All right, Riley, I'll let you talk about our fun adventure over the weekend. Yeah, us four Walt Nash is in here, but we all went to uh, Andrew. The, Andrew, yeah, we all went to the Swamp Rabbits, Greenville Swamp Rabbits hockey game, and they played the Jacksonville Icemen. Really excited to go. I haven't gone to a hockey game in a while. I think it was like three minutes in. We're all excited. Jacksonville scores. And then they didn't scored stop again. scoring. Yeah. They scored two it's, more times in that same period. It's it's three nothing at the beginning of the first period. It I was a lot man. It was a fun game to watch, but it was over. Yeah. I, I had a lot of fun. Yeah, I still I enjoyed enjoyed myself, myself. But hey, I'm like, wow. And the Swamp Rabbits bounced back Sunday for the win. We're all good. Go Swampies. We go bunnies. I don't know what to say about that. It was fun. Yeah, hockey's one of those sports. Hockey hockey's hockey I think is that sport that if you go in person you're gonna it's, love it. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's someone like anyone can get into hockey in person just because it's, it's so much action. There was no fight. And I was really hoping we'd get one, but. It came close to a couple times. Yeah. They just, yeah. The, the refs were good. Yeah. They were able to stop it. 
it was fun. I, I really did have a good time. I like going to the smaller sports. Yeah. I know we talked about going to see, you know, a race. And then, what else did we talk about? Like MMA fights, maybe. Yeah. Just going to different things, I think, would be fun. I think that would be cool. Because uh, there's so much around the Clemson area that there's so many sports. And it's not like you really notice because you're, you're kind of locked in on the sports here, like the football and the basketball and the baseball, that you don't realize, like, oh, there's a, like a semi-pro hockey team right there. Yeah. Or like the semi-pro soccer teams they have in Greenville. I don't know. Just that, so much. that semi-pro soccer team made it super far. I think last year in the uh, U.S. like tournament. Yeah. And they were playing an MLS team. I've never heard about it once while we were up here. No. Nah. I mean, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I, I just I think there's so much there's so much sports in the world that it's it's just it's not fun to lock yourself in on one thing. It's fun to really enjoy everything. Like this morning, I was at work and I was like, just you know, sitting at the desk, and I was like. No one's coming in today. I can watch sports. I mean, I can watch anything anyway. But I was like, let me see if there's any sports on. The Australian Open is on. So I was like, I'll watch it. Yeah. And I enjoyed it. Like, it was fun to watch. It was competitive. And it's just, it's cool to see different things that aren't as televised in America. Yeah, right. tennis is one of those sports that if you actually lo- like lock in and watch it, it can yeah. be the most yeah, entertaining be, yeah. sport yeah. you've ever watched. Yeah, I just, I just think it's fun to, to start kind of branching yourself off, especially in college where you're just, you only hear about the college you go to. I just think it's fun to branch yourself into the different professional worlds. Right. That's all. But yeah, go small rabbits. Good time. Uh, thank you for watching. We will see y'all next week. Anything else? That's it. All right.